I'm having a tidying day today and um, I'm not doing the usual kind of tidying I'm not tidying my house although I probably should uh, I'm tidying up in the kitchen what I've got here are some leftovers underneath there's some leftover cake sponge cake that I made a couple of days ago and in this heat and because it's gluten free it goes dry very quickly so I've popped that into the bottom of the bowl and these are some frozen hedgerow blackberries that I gathered last year and I'm just about to pour some jelly over the top of it so that it can set and be the start of a trifle. So I made up a quarter of a pint of uh, strawberry jelly, you know the stuff that comes in the little cubes and you you add water to it and I think in America it's called jello not jelly. There was a bit more using up to do. Mr J had left a bit in the bottom of this box of wine so I've bung that in as well. That should make it taste nice. I'm drizzling it through quite slowly so that the, uh, the jelly will soak into the cake evenly. Just rearrange the batteries a little bit so that they're evenly spread out. And I've used frozen ones rather than just defrosting them because it will help cool the jelly a bit faster. There we go, so that's going into the fridge now. Um, and then this evening when this is set I will uh, add some custard to the top of it and uh, we've got plenty of eggs there you go we've got plenty of eggs we've got masses of milk so I can make up a custard and pop that over the top and uh, and that should be then be lovely and that's very definitely my kind of tidying up the other thing I need to tidy up today is the incubator because we've had a bit of a well, again, we've had a disaster. I'm really at a loss to know what's happening with the duck eggs. Last year we hatched, um, we hatched quite a lot of duck eggs, so we know how to hatch them and we know how to uh, raise ducks to maturity. And we know that Mrs. Warren lays fertile eggs because uh, Fredrickson is her son. But there seems to be a problem with Fredrickson's eggs well obviously not his eggs but eggs he's fertilized now it could be because he's um, he's treading on his mother but that wouldn't explain why the eggs from the other duck aren't working either the eggs in the incubator over there well that's the second lot that we've put uh, into the incubator um, left them for the month as they should be and I've kept the water topped up to keep the humidity right and and they haven't hatched they've just failed to hatch um, the last one one pipped and then died in its shell and this time we've had two pip and one appears to be dead in its shell and the other one uh, as it pipped and did seem to be making some progress well I've popped that under Dieselette who's a broody girl and she's got a couple of the duck eggs under her and I thought the best way to break her broodiness was to give her um, a live a live chick or in this case a live duck, duckling so hopefully that has hatched safely under her but it might not have um, but so we've had one out of oh, this is about 25 eggs now and um, and I and ignore the last hatch after this hatch I put in 14 eggs eight of them were fertile they were very definitely fertile and they were live and healthy four days ago and then nothing so one is pipped and another one is under diesel that's pipped but there's no movement from any of the others and they very definitely there's no sound the eggs aren't moving around there's obviously a problem so mr j and i are thinking that perhaps we should get another drake uh, it's a difficult thing to know what to do right because although we've got the uh, fabulous little indian runner ducklings and, uh, and they'll grow up, although I suspect quite a lot of those boys, but they'll grow up and they'll give us egg layers. But we don't particularly want to eat them because uh, they'll have red meat and we particularly like Aylesbury's because they've got white meat. 
um, and it's just it's just lovely so that's why we wanted more of them to have the females for for laying and then the boys would be part of our food store so we've now wasted two months of the laying season um, and not got any more ducks oh yeah I feel I don't actually feel despondent I just feel a bit I kind of feel a bit at a loss a bit frustrated no it's not even frustrated and it's not despondent I just like that <laughs> so we find someone reasonably locally who's selling her flock of seven Aylesbury cross Pekins uh, and one pure Aylesbury Drake and she's not too far away so we're gonna have a conversation with her this evening about uh, what the best way to integrate a larger flock into a smaller flock if that makes sense because her birds there have been more of them uh, that we were bringing in than we've got at the moment so I'm just I just want to take her advice because she's an absolute whiz with ducks uh, so we're going to do that and um, oh, poor old Fredrickson I'm afraid that he's going to end up in the freezer and we just have to hope that the new Drake does better at producing babies uh, than Fredrickson has now before you go up in arms that we're rejecting Fredrickson uh, <laughs> uh, we are we, yes we are rejecting him but we have tried all sorts of variations so during the last hatch and so not this one that's just failed but the previous one we actually had some bought in eggs at the same time and they hatched fine and the home laid eggs didn't uh, so we said well give it another go and if that doesn't work we'll need to actually crack on because the, the birds are here for a reason they they do look lovely and I get an enormous pleasure from having them here the bottom line is that they are here to to provide us with food um, and we can't be too sentimental uh, and despite the fact I name them <laughs> which I know you shouldn't uh, I don't actually have a problem with it I quite like having the, a name for the animals that I care for them um, I raise them and I care for them so why wouldn't I give them names and um, I just batch them with some dignity and uh, and I thank them for for having been with us so you know I do what I need to do to make it right by us well we've got to half eight in the evening and it's still really warm so nice uh, but we now have a gentle breeze which is cooling the air and uh, and the sun is just heading off behind the trees so it's all become that that lovely thing that you get a, on a summer's evening when it's been really warm and the ground is warm and everything just smells nice and feels nice it, it's great so I didn't do much this afternoon in fact I had a snooze uh, I got so hot it was just I'll just sit down for a minute and the next thing I knew it was 40 minutes later and Mr J had just come home from work boy I felt guilty oh dear anyway Early evening this evening I've been out and done a little bit more on the uh, new chicken run that we're we're building at the back there and uh, so that's coming along nicely and when that's finished um, I'll show it to you properly. This evening I seem to have been joined by a <laughs> Elvis but I've also been joined by a small uh, leg bar boy who as you can see just just there he's not supposed to be out but he's still small enough to squeeze through the uh, flexible netting and, uh, and just nibble on the grass out here so that's what he's up to <laughs> and it won't take very long before he goes back in because they'll all be heading to bed in the next I don't know the next hour I would guess I've also just noticed that I've been joined by fan club this evening which um since I showed you fan club she hasn't been out to follow me around so I thought perhaps she couldn't get through the netting anymore but as she's also wandering around on this little patch of grass I guess she can so that's it for today it's been a really lovely day I've got loads done and I'm heading inside to make some supper and uh, and we'll have that trifle for pudding <laughs>